well I know that the lighting is bad apologize for it right, right now literally I just walked in the door unpacked my bike brought all this stuff up grabbed the GoPro because I wanted to get this while it was fresh I'm still I'm burning up it's it's freaking hot in California you know truly I gotta see um, all four seasons this trip man but um you know before I left I had a lot of people ask me if I was nervous about going Sturges by myself as a new rider right up I've got like a year of experience it went by myself you know a lot of people thought it would be dangerous or not you know not safe the same as dangerous or whatever but like multiple different reasons that they thought something could go wrong right mechanically I could have had a failure could have had an accident while I was out there by myself could have got robbed by myself out there trying to, to sleep right weather which I did run into then when you get to Sturgis you know I'm clean and sober I don't drink I don't use and uh, Sturgis is one great big party right so which brings a, a whole nother type of danger scenario for me you know um, if I were to have a uh, like a momentary lapse grab a drink or, or grab a grab a joint or just anything along those lines right what that could lead to you know and um, so I did I, I took precaution you know um, I, I took an inReach with me. I joined Life 360 on my phone. Um, I went to meetings. I went to church while I was out there, and um, I did I did things that would make success more likely. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I went. Um, truly, um, I turned 50 in two months, and. Uh, I didn't even know Sturgis was on my bucket list, you know. I was never, ever into motorcycles or anything. I was always, you know, my, my life before seven years ago, well, I've been clean eight, but I've been out of prison. It'll be seven years in November. Um, my life before that was 100% centered around crime and not like running in a motorcycle gang or any of that stuff. I'm talking just some like straight dirtbag stuff, you know, without any accountability to anybody you know whatever it took to get high you know and um i i couldn't I, I didn't have any money to spend on anything else you know um so uh you know once i got clean i, I found riding motorcycles and um um it's just opened a whole new door you know but sturges i thought was like a, a must do you know and um i feel a lot more confident riding my motorcycle um, some of the roads back there the, I went on three really good rides I went to Mount Rushmore which you guys will see um, I'm sure that when I edit this this will be my prelude to all my Sturges videos I was gone for nine days but only made videos for for eight of them because I didn't have enough charging stuff for all my batteries and stuff so you know lessons learned you know next year I'm gonna I'm gonna do it a little bit different so I can um, haul some stuff and then you know I learned that there's a Walmart close by so I really don't have to haul everything that I hauled out there this time right this time I bought a pack of shirt and a pair of pack of socks and all the stuff that I hauled out there and I could have just bought it out there I didn't have to haul that stuff you know which is you know if you're if you're gonna be a new rider and you're gonna ride out there sometime let me suggest that if you can buy it at Walmart at your house just buy it at Walmart when you get there don't there's no reason to bring it the Walmart wasn't running low on anything they had everything as you can imagine still there on the shelves you know there's three of them right there in the general area two of them in Rapid City and one of them is Spearfish and <clears throat> there I went to the one in Spearfish because I bought so much crap while I was at Sturgis I had to buy a whole nother duffel bag you know but um you know uh um five things that I learned while while riding out there at Sturgis one one is Dude, it's hella nice to ride without a freaking helmet. Here in California, you gotta wear a helmet. This is the law, you know? And uh, I use a, I used a mouthpiece to record this. I, I stopped recording in Yellowstone because the weather was so bad. I had I was, didn't want the GoPro to go bad, so I swapped out the door on the on the battery. But the, um, it's so nice, you know? Um, I, I did buy, in California you have to wear a helmet, so I bought a little tiny skull helmet because when I was in South Dakota, I was running without a helmet a lot, you know, unless I was going to video, and then I would put the regular helmet on because it had the GoPro mount, and then I remembered I mounted it to the handlebars, so 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, um, that's that's nice. I like that. Um, two, um, there's a lot of good places to eat while you're out there. Um, I stayed at the Buffalo Chip, which you'll see, but um, they have a lot of like fair food, you know, or put on by by the but by the chip, you know, a lot of vendors that come out there, but they're not local, you know. And um, when I was going on my rides, I would eat local. And <clears throat> I think the next time I go, I'm gonna make it a point to eat local every meal. I would rather support the community than the vendors that are driving in there, you know? Um, I there There is a place out there called the Sugar Shack, which is at the junction between Deadwood and, um, uh, I can't think of the name of the town, but another town, if you go there, you'll find it. But just remember the word sugar shack. And I bought a double bacon cheeseburger and I should have got a single. This burger was a monstrous, you know, and it was 17 bucks. And uh, for the burger, the fries, the drink, you know, and it was local. It's not some vendor that comes in or whatever. It's a building that's there who's, um, you know, in the wintertime, it's bad there. There's not a lot of stuff happening. And a lot of those communities kind of close down. And if they don't make money during these events, and that's what they're for, um, I, I was, I won't. Um, next year, I won't do the vendor thing. You know, um, I would rather buy local. You know, um, and I don't have to do fast food. I, it, it's no big deal. You know, um, it's like a lot of cool rides and some concerts at night. You know, it just doesn't get any better than that. You know, and then like. Dude, you get to ride your motorcycle in. Like, I, I rode my motorcycle and watched George Thurgood from the saddle of my bike, you know? With my, my saddlebags packed with chips and sodas and stuff, you know? Dude, you can't do that. You can't bring nothing in nowhere else, you know? Um, so it's like a, you get a ride all day, and then you come back and watch concerts at night, you know? And uh, a lot of people were drinking or whatever, but for me, the experience was... Um, I, I, I want to say it was like once in a lifetime, but it's not because <laughs> I'm doing it every year. But um, it is definitely um, like a rites of passage. You know, um, that's a lot of time in the saddle. It's a lot of time riding. When I got there, I rode some more. I didn't just get there and camp. I got there and used Buffalo Chip as my start off point for all my rides. And I did Iron Mountain. I did Rushmore. I did Neat Point, uh, uh, Needle Highway. I did wildlife loop custer state park um i went all the way out to um newcastle wyoming and back um but i didn't want to do it all on one trip right so next year i'm going to do the badlands next year when i go i'm going to concentrate solely on the badlands and then there's a ride that goes up into montana i'm going to do that too and then the year after that will be there's some stuff in wyoming i want to see and then um i don't know i might have to find a different bike week to go to because by then that area be played out and so I might have to go ride somewhere else but you know um if for the next few years I'm going there and then um I might have to like like I said broaden it out I think Arizona does a bike week you know I might have to swap it up and do that you know whatever it is just to um I mean but <laughs> the time in the saddle it's amazing you know I took the Harley this year next year I'm going to take the um the um Triumph i seen um, lots of side roads I can go get lost on. So, you know, I think the riding next year is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do the Badlands and stuff like that, but a lot of good roads out there too. So, anyways, this is just a prelude of my Sturgis trip. I'm sure that I've edited a bunch of stuff, a little tiny short clips as a teaser or whatever, going by, you know. Um, remember, I do this on my own time. I mean, if you want to like and subscribe, man, that would be great. If you think anybody else might get any type of entertainment from this, then hit the like button. YouTube and spread it around let other people see it if you think it's garbage man hit the like hit the dislike button twice um, man if you want to see more content or if you want to see each day that I was there laid out individually as like what I did how I did it and whatnot um, hit the hit the little bell notification so you're notified when I put them out um, I, I gotta go back to work so it's gonna be, take a little bit I'm gonna edit it, this one real quick and get it out there and then um, I'm gonna um, have, take some time on the on the ones for the days because I did see and do a lot and I, I don't want to miss anything putting it in here so anyways man I'm William here at Moto Grandpa man and 
It's always, man, life is excellent, man. It is what you make it. Anyways, catch you guys later.